Hey, what's up everyone? It's time for a Donna guide, or as I like to call her, the Water Bruce. Donna's main source of damage is her bow, especially in this current range meta we are in. So for that reason, Nitro Bow is absolutely crucial to Donna. Because of Donna's incredibly high health, items like Happy Treats and Bandage do absolute wonders for her. Vampire Teeth are also viable, but keep in mind that in many situations you will not be hitting people with Donna's Bomb and Shotgun simply because your opponents will not allow you to get that close to them. As far as the fourth item goes, it's really up to you. Some viable options include inflatable muscles, which is my preference, jungle shoes, wake up coffee, and adrenaline shot if you're forgetting to press your health kit too much. But I definitely believe that the happy treats and bandage items are too strong on Donna to pass up. Donna excels the most in solo games due to her very slow play style. So for that reason, I would recommend not using her for team-based game modes with more than two people. So we're going to start near this island each game because of Donna's passive ability, which essentially makes her unkillable in water. But because of Donna's high health, you don't have to worry too much about your starting point. I found that the best starting points, however, in addition to this island, also include near each bridge, the center house due to the guaranteed weapons, and the ice area in the bottom right part of the map. If you ever need a quick getaway at the start of the game, or just need to reposition, all of these starting locations have water nearby. As far as Donna's active usage goes, unfortunately it's very clunky and slow and can actually be counterintuitive to use in some instances. However, if you're in the water and for example, an unsuspecting bunny rolls up for a drink, then it is absolutely a good idea to use Donna's active to initiate a fight. But because of how long it takes to charge up, as well as the time to complete all of the animations, you really open yourself up to being attacked for free as we see there. So for that reason, unless you're absolutely 100% sure you're going to land Donna's active and it be beneficial to the fight with your opponent overall, that is to say that getting on top of them isn't detrimental, then I would recommend not using her active that often. It is very, very good for guards though because of the free damage and the short stun. So you see a lot of snipes going on here. You'll see in a lot of cases in these games that the main source of damage is Donna's bow. There's a lot of times where you'll want to use her bomb or her shotgun, but you just won't be able to because your opponents will not let you get on top of them. So you have to play around that. I guess it goes without saying though that if you're not very good at shooting focus bow shots, Donna is probably not the character for you. We got a gym for fuzzy snorkeling over here. And another Donna comes out of the water. <laughs> so we're gonna capitalize off of that and kill them both. And we're getting pretty big here. Just one more stack for seven. Now this is full solos, so there are 45 people, including guards, in this game, in these games.
Got a 16 Shelly here and a buck behind me. I want to take care of him before we deal with these other guys. That buck should be dead. And we take down the Shelly with a chomp. Not too much of a worry using Don as active on Shelly's simply because Shelly's don't have bombs. So you don't really have to worry too much about the repercussions of getting on top of somebody. And just the Jade now to finish things off. We'll pick up the bomb. Looks like she might be just running into the fire though. Yep. So that's the first game in the books. Heading into the second game now. Unfortunately, we could not get to the island in time. So we're going to be starting deep in this forest here. Definitely not where you want to be as Donna. However, as mentioned, because of her high health, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just want to find some guards and better weapons. Start picking up those muscle stacks. If you had jungle shoes in this case, you would probably use them to find better weapons as well as health kits. Running into a duke here, he's gonna steal it, unfortunately. And there's just not much we can do versus him. We'll just be way too slow. And he has coffee and most likely jungle shoes as well. So I won't bother. Bought this Nyx. Goes down fairly easily. And Bruce is throwing himself at us here. So we will gladly accept another muscle stack and another health kit. <laughs> he even gives the thumbs up as if he realized what he did. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bruce, you messed up. Got a Nyx here, looks like might be lagging a little bit. And using jungle shoes as well. Nice little max range bow shot there. Proc one of that Nyx's health kits. And we should be able to kill him here. Looks like I finally landed at Snorkel Town, and uh, I forgot to bring my snorkel, but Donna, you know, she kind of has a built-in snorkel with her invisibility. Snorkel definitely needs a nerf still. Yeah, you're... You're not funny, Fuzzy. You're going down. <laughs> You're going down. Yeah, this guy, this guy is going down too. How are you guys GM2 is level seven? This is just crazy. Please just fix Snorkel. <laughs> Rebalance this game. So the circle is going to be a museum circle, it looks like. Trying to take care of this Larry and Shelly out here first. Not an issue in the least. And we finally have our seven stacks. So we finish off the game strong here with the last three players. Not sure where the other guy is. Uh, 
Oh, I think he's in that barrel below me. Wow. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> this guy is crazy. What a spot. Yes, he's in there. Oh my gosh. The master of hiding. Wow. Didn't even notice it for the longest time. That was crazy. So we have our last game here, and we do get to start near the legendary guard and in the water. We're gonna do some shout outs for you guys. I'm gonna take them off of the 2.0 update video. Shout out to Aline Saul. Just imagine if two squads are flagging and working together. Yeah, so for me personally, I, I don't think that flagging in squads and, and sparing people in squads is admirable or honorable in any way. There's only four squads in each game and your squad is one of them, which means that if you team up with another squad, there's only two other squads to kill. And this is just not at all fun in any way. 10v5, like, come on. Even if it's my clanmates, I think just fight, you know? It's just a, a fun game mode, even for clanmates to battle it out. But I am super, super glad that they did add more modes and I'm having a lot of fun with both trios and squads. What are your guys' thoughts on Molotov being disabled in squads? I personally think it's a great, great thing because five Molotovs would just make it extremely unbalanced, in my opinion. Shout out to Zuba Gaming Channel, shout out to Raven Borks, shout out to Ted Byrne, shout out to It's Trike, shout out to Hacker, shout out to Ivy Tendrils, shout out to Lucio Pisano, shout out to Fritzag MC, shout out to Sandesh Goalie. Shout out to Sir Sam, shout out to Zuba Stuff, shout out to Max Dax 4, shout out to Dolly K, shout out to Pixel Wave, shout out to Roberto Martinez, shout out to Storm Shadow. When is the update coming? By the way, love your vids. Thank you, Storm. Shout out to Oliver, shout out to Erica Contreras, shout out to Tobias Carlson. Shout out to Christopher Tinger, shout out to Aaron Bell, shout out to Clayton Bryan, shout out to Mark Kirinko, Kir Kirinko. shout out to Valentin Fernandez, shout out to Larlar, shout out to Muhammad Azam, shout out to Shane Ryan, shout out to Cad Red, shout out to Ender Dan, shout out to Free to Play Gameplay, shout out to Robert. Castillo, shout out to La Flame, shout out to the Axolotl God, shout out to Alan Pujol, shout out to Sujal, shout out to Jonathan Sefuentes, shout out to Soar Vipers, and finally shout out to shout out to the powerful penguin, and finally shout out to Maria Rosa.
So we're trolling this Skippy a little bit here, just showing off the power of bandage and happy treats. Even with his cluster bomb, there's not much he can do. Now he is level nine too, but <laughs> you gotta admit, this is funny, just healing the health back. That's all I've got for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed this guide for Donna, and be sure to check out my other character guides as well. I've got a guide on every character, and I will continue making character guides as the game progresses. Some are kind of outdated, but a lot of the stuff in them is still relevant. So if you're struggling or you don't really know how to play a character, you just got a new character, you, you don't know how to play it, be sure to check those out. See you guys in the next one. Happy hunting.